Well, this week's seven names will be added to the Walk of Fame on Broad Street. It's an honor given to those who've made significant contributions to Philadelphia's music legacy. Aziza Schuler spoke to WDAS radio host Ms. Patty Jackson about her historic induction. It's next and too close on WDAS FM. A voice we've heard over our radio waves for more than four decades. We're inside an hour of commercial free music. Patty Jackson, without doubt, is a Philly thing. Here's Usher and Alicia Keys. The WDAS radio host, known for her blonde hair, contagious smile, and dynamic yet down to earth personality, has accomplished a great deal of success in her hometown, Philadelphia. I was just a kid from South Philly who wanted to be on the radio. But nothing quite beats being named one of this year's Philadelphia Music Alliance Walk of Fame inductees. This is like a dream come true. Since 1987, legendary musicians, songwriters, and media personalities have been honored with a bronze plaque here on Avenue of the Arts. Jackson, however, is the first female radio host in Walk of Fame history. What was her reaction when you called her? She started crying. When you go back to the Jerry Blavitz, the Joe Niagara, is the high lits, the butterballs. They have made this city such a different kind of radio town. And Patty, being a female, to have achieved the success she has, I take my hat off her because she loves the music, she plays it with that passion. She loves her customers, she loves her listeners, and you feel it. Jackson says her strong work ethic has carried her career, as well as her unique ability to transcend generations. I used to be the baby of the bunch, and now I'm the, you know, the elder statesman. Radio is theater of the mind. And if you can touch someone, if you can brighten someone's day, put a smile on their face with a song, that's what I hope that people remember. The Walk of Fame ceremony will be held this Thursday in front of the University of the Arts. In Center City, Aziza Schuler, CBS News, Philadelphia.